going on growers, it's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. With spring just around the corner, me and Tuck want to take you along with us for a backyard harvest and grab a bunch of fresh fruit along the way. Let's go! Let's jump right into the harvesting. We'll start off with this birdies raised bed. I put this raised bed in only last fall and it's producing a lot of food for me now, as you'll see. Let's get this first one cut. We've got an early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. I'm in New Jersey here, so it makes sense to grow this early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. This is my most early ripening one and it's looking pretty nice. Let's uh, crack this open and see what we got. We'll give a lot of these extra leaves to the chickens and stuff. Looks like pretty nice shape. Oh yeah, <laughs> first cabbage of the season. And I love eating this fresh. I'll just dice this up and use it like you would lettuce in a salad. Nice, firm, and beautiful. Let's keep moving though. We got a lot of stuff to harvest. It looks like Tuck is snacking on some of those, the stems, some of the leaves. This guy just loves snacking on whatever we're working on. We couldn't do it without him though. Hit the like button if you guys love seeing Tuck in the videos. Let's move on to another cabbage though. This is the Melissa Savoy cabbage. I'll come around and show you guys. This one is just so beautiful. The texture on it, it almost reminds me of like uh, uh, Lacinato cabbage because it's got that texture that the Lacinatos have, but oh man, look at that. Let's cut this guy and start peeling some of the leaves back. Again, this is in this birdies raised bed and this thing is working so fantastic. I picked up a couple more and I feel like they're a great value for the price of wood these days too. So after I grew all this stuff in and I figured, hey, these things work great, I'll pick up a couple more. I'll put a coupon code down low if you guys wanna pick one up too. But look at this. Nothing gets me more excited than just peeling these things open. We've watched this grow and we've had our hand in every piece of it. That's why gardening is so rewarding. So there's nothing in the garden that I haven't planted by my own hand. Me and Tucker are the ones that do all the work out here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is just the start though. We still have a lot more stuff to grab. So let's move along. I've got some lettuce and stuff behind me. If we can find our pruner. It looks like Tuck likes that one too. Check out the size of some of these leaves too. Look at this thing. This is all food. We could dice this up and eat it if we want, but I'm sure the chickens will like it. If you guys can hear, I've got Percy right next to me. She hears everything that's going on, the chicken, and she, she wants a little bit. I know she does. Hey, Purse. Hey, sweet girl. Percy's old. She's gotta be about five or six years old now. There you go, Percy. So we'll let her snack on some of those cabbage leaves. I'm sure she'll enjoy it. And that's why harvest time is so fun in the garden because it's, it's not a harvest just for me. It's a harvest for the chickens, for Tuck for everybody, we all get a little piece of it. And that also means we're gonna be planting something next. So let's check out the other bed that we just put into. This is the keyhole raised bed. So let's grab some of these lettuces. You'll see, look at this really red deer tongue. What an insane lettuce head. It's just so beautiful. We're gonna save that one for dinner tonight, but I'm gonna cut one of these ones, a little smaller one. Let's take this beautiful, really red deer tongue. You love to see it nice and clean. And then let's take one of these. This is, the, uh, this is uh, one of the varieties that I, th I believe it's called the Crisp Mint Romaine. Definitely in the Romaine family, but I've got a few different Romaines I'm growing this year. I already showed you the Paris Island one, which if, the Paris Island is here, I believe. And then this is the Crisp Mint. So not a bad start, but let me bring you over right over here. Here's where I'm gonna probably be putting one of my new birdies raised beds that I just got. So we'll be adding that one in. But I wanted to show you also, I recently just planted asparagus and some people said they wanted to see them when they were popping up. So it's been a couple weeks. You can see the three roots that I put in, they're popping up. I'm just gonna backfill the soil around the top of them uh, now that they're up. And let me just keep moving because we got a lot more stuff to grab. We're just getting started. Let's keep moving along. We've got a bunch of stuff to grab. Let's get some of this Swiss chard we have right here. I've got a couple different varieties of Swiss chard as Tuck is digging a hole next to the blueberries. Hey Tuck, that's good boy. That's good boy. He's gotta cool off a little bit. I'll grab you a carrot or something boy. Just hang out. All right, so we've got some Swiss chard here, a couple different varieties. Let's grab some of these yellows here. Just a few of the large leaves, some of these purples in the back. Allow it to keep growing. The color is amazing. Love to see it. And oh, I think there's some blueberries over there that are ready. We've got a lot of blueberries ready on the side garden. Hey, Tucky, you want a carrot now, boy? Look what we got here. Tucky, what's this, boy? There he goes. There he goes. What a guy. This guy digs his own carrots. Pretty nice one. 
Maybe I'll grab one too because I kind of feel like snacking on one. Let me get this one right here. This looks like a decent one. I'll pull this baby right up. Pretty good shape. Nice looking carrot. We've got a lot more carrots we can grab today too. So we'll let Tuck snack on his carrot right there. But there's some blueberries over here that look like they're ready. Let me just grab a few of those because we've got a lot more blueberries in the side garden also. And you'll notice right here we've got the California poppy. This is just coming up on its own. Such beautiful, delicate flowers. I love the poppy flowers so much. But we've got some blueberries that are ready here. This is just a small spot that's ready because I'm gonna take you guys to the side garden where we have a lot of blueberries ready. And these ones along the edge here, they're just getting started too. So it's just a short amount of time until we have more blueberries that we know what to do with. That's what we love. Mm. Let's keep moving though. Let's grab some strawberries. I know there's still a good amount of them left. They're at the tail end of their production, but we're still getting some. But at the tail end of their production means all the raspberries and stuff are ready. So we've got so many black caps and stuff. But here's a nice few strawberries. We've eaten a lot. But once we start picking stuff, you know who comes out of nowhere and shows up. This guy's so good. We love him. We're not sure how much he likes uh, broccoli and stuff though. And I do have a broccoli to harvest. So let me snap one of those broccolis off. I dropped my pruner somewhere though. So let's just snap it with my hand if I can. And what I want to do is take this broccoli off because it's separating a little bit, but I don't want to remove the plant because after I take this off, there's going to be some side shoots that come between the cracks right here. They'll come out and produce little broccoli heads. So we'll still get another little harvest out of it. This isn't the biggest broccoli head, but not too bad. We'll take it. looks like Tuck actually stole the carrot out of here when we turned around. <laughs> He's onto it over there. You turn your back for one second with this guy. He's so hilarious. He does the same thing with the, uh, with the, Cucumbers too. I turn around and he's pulling the cucumbers down off the fence. It's so hilarious. Look at this lettuce here though. I'm gonna have to harvest one of these too because they're just crazy. And look at this. This is the first time I've grown this. This is the celery and man is it doing well. I'm gonna try some already. I'm gonna pick it when it's young. Just a little piece. I've never grown it before. It's exciting for me. And I love celery. And the smell coming off the celery is just insane. It's just so powerful. I wonder how it tastes. It's a little bit of a stem, but mm, the, the celery flavor is incredible. It looks like Tuck's stealing our, uh, <laughs> stealing our broccoli next. <laughs> hey buddy, we already fed you today, come on. This guy's eating a little more than he gets paid for. Looks like he's found the top part of the broccoli. So let me just let him snack on that, try one more piece. It's pretty good, right boy? He seems to like it. It's got a little purpling in the broccoli too. So it's funny, I harvested some stuff and then it seems like as I'm progressing along, I'm, the stuff is disappearing. Why is that boy, huh? But let's grab that from him. We're gonna have the rest of this and let's keep moving along. Hey! <laughs> he seems to like it. It's gonna be tough to put down. All right, let's move this way. And we've got some more lettuces and stuff that I'm gonna be harvesting. Look at the beauty on these. I'll put the name of the variety on some of these. I can't pronounce the one. It's like Lalo de Viono or something. And then here's another beautiful lettuce. This one's the Better Devil, I believe. Two pretty ones here. We've got large carrots in here that we need to grab. Or Tuck will probably grab himself. And when it comes to carrots, I pick them as I, <clears throat> as I like to eat them because this is a great spot to save them. So come in just a little bit. I'll show you this one of the nice ones we grab here. Hopefully it's nice. This is the red cord ch chantenary. So we've got one here. I'm just gonna pull it right out. Pretty nice. Beauty, nice shape. Looks beautiful. So we've got a bunch of carrots, but we're just gonna harvest them as we eat them because that's how we like to do it. They store so well in the ground, they're just waiting for us to come along and eat them. Let's get this monster cabbage over here that we've got another early Jersey Wakefield. As you can see, uh, me and Tuck love packing stuff in together. Whoa, we almost fell there. But we don't have a lot of space, so we just pack things together, grow as much food as we possibly can. This way we just have fun doing it too. I gotta watch him though, because he keeps stealing all my stuff. So let's cut out this early Jersey Wakefield. This one might be bigger than the other one. I always feel like, I feel like a little kid opening a Christmas present when it comes to these cabbages. It's just so fun. Peeling it away to see what we find. Ooh, another beautiful cabbage. Look at the point on that and the shape. Man, that's like picturesque in my opinion. Nothing and no one can paint a better picture than nature the ultimate artist. Let's put that in and grab some more stuff. We've got a bunch of this 
Kale, we're gonna get some of these bigger lower leaves. This is the uh, dazzling blue. Love to see it. Get more of these leaves. We're gonna have a lot of nice salads. And then we've also got these kales, the scarlet kale. Oh, looks like Tuck found another carrot under there. He dug up his own. I'm gonna take that back from him. We'll grab that and then let's get some of these peas over here. This is our last row of peas. All the other sections that we had peas planted, we've taken them out and now we've got cucumbers in. We're always looking towards the next harvest, but we still have a lot of peas. So we're gonna grab a bunch of peas. Hey, Tuck, what about a pea, huh? Maybe that'll be good. You don't want them? It looks like he's not into them right now. So we'll just take some more of these peas off. Harvest a bunch of these. And then we're sick of all these veggies and stuff. Let's move on to some fruits. Get over in the side garden and just get some delicious fresh fruits. It's time to grab some fresh berries from the side garden and they're just loaded over here. We've got so many blueberries ready. This is only the first round of them too. That's why we love having different varieties that ripen at different times. We just gotta go around and just harvest all these blueberries. This is one small plant right here. Let me just throw a couple in my mouth just to taste them. There's nothing better than handfuls of blueberries, handfuls of black cap raspberries. Oh, so good. That'll wake you up. Amazing. So this is a nice blueberry set that's ripening, looking beautiful. Look at this monster bush that is ripening now. Holy, this is beautiful. We've got a number of bushes that look just like this. You'll notice down low too, we've been, we put that compost down there in the early spring. That helped a lot. So many blueberries come out here and harvest. There's nothing like harvesting fresh blueberries. Look at some of the weight of these, of these branches here. They're just getting weighed down completely. This is a later variety. I did a, lot, uh, a good amount of pruning last year that helped an immense amount. So we're gonna make sure we continue to do that. More blueberries over here as well. And then these, these cherries over here are getting close to ripening, the gold cherry. So once these cherries are ripe, another delicious fruit. But while we're waiting for the cherries to ripen, we're gonna eat some black cap raspberries, what I like to call the sea of black cap raspberries. As we walk by another monster blueberry plant, this thing is gonna be a big producer, I can tell. So look at this sea of black cap raspberries. One of my favorite black raspberries there are. And I've got these, this trellis going along, but this thing has just grown too fast, too big. And this is when we love them, like this. They just, they come off very easily when they're ripe. And these are so good. The flavor on these is incredible. It's got this amazing sweetness, a bit of tartness. Uh, it almost reminds me of like a sweet warhead or something, but uh, it has some seeds in it. So I don't really like to chew it hard. I almost like to let it melt in my mouth. Mm. Incredible. I've got more raspberries and stuff that I need to show you though next. Let's grab some of these gooseberries right here. The plant looks a little weak because it's expelling so much energy on this production of these fruit. A lot of nice ones down here. So gooseberry pie is supposed to be delicious. I've never made it, but I do just love eating them fresh. That's for sure. A great fruit. You want this kind of fruit, you gotta grow it yourself. You're not gonna really find these in the stores. So I love these so good, packed with flavor. Let's move to some of the raspberries, one of my favorite flavored raspberries. Well, the thing is I have like three varieties growing and they're all my favorite varieties. That's why I'm growing them. So here's the yellow and very sweet, very sweet raspberry. So a lot of nice ones here. And then as we move up, there's just so many over here too. So we've got a lot to harvest. And these are when they're super, super sweet. When you've got almost this orange color, this is when they're golden. Let's have a few of those. Mm. Such a different flavor than the black caps. It's surprising that they're both raspberries. Such a gentle, subtle, sweet flavor from here. We've got the red raspberries over there too, but before we get to those, Tuck looks like he's kind of thirsty, so let's grab him a little water and we'll grab some currants after that. Let's move this way to the raised beds. As we walk by some of the grapes that are doing incredible, and the Prigioni apples starting to get a little out of control, so we're gonna have to prune that mid-season. But it's got a lot of small apples on it. And then the echinaceas are all really starting to open up, show their flowers, and show their true character, which the beauty is incredible. So, Tucky boy, where you at, boy? Thirsty? Tuck, thirsty boy? Let's get Tuck some water in a little shade right here. I know he's pretty thirsty, it's so hot out here. So we like to try to make sure we have fresh water for him that we can give him. This way he's coming to us for the water and not going searching around, drinking sitting water somewhere. 
we don't want him getting sick or anything. But let's check out some of these currants right here as he's doing that. So we've got a bunch of these to harvest. The white currants under here. So I love these ones too. So you gotta be a little clever for the white currants. It's even more over there. They like hiding themselves, but if you know where to find them, you can get some beautiful harvests. Just a few more things I wanted to show you guys that we're gonna be grabbing. So some of the stuff I'm not grabbing right here, it would just take so much time for me to harvest all of it. So I'm just showing you what I'm going to be harvesting and just getting a little bit of, as we go along. This section, we're not gonna be grabbing anything really much today. We transitioned from a lot of the fall stuff into, into I mean, in the spring stuff to the summer stuff. And we've got more carrots and everything over here too. Here's a red carrot or a black one. These ones look like they're getting kind of big, but we'll leave them for now because I think Tuck had his fair share of carrots and then down here, we've got some lettuces and stuff that I need to harvest. I'll probably harvest some of this today. More of the better devil right here. And then we've got some of the deer tongue lettuce. This isn't the really red deer tongue. I think this is the deer tongue, but a different variety back here. Apples looking really good. Tomatoes doing great. Then we have even more lettuce that we have to get back here. I grew so much lettuce this year. And one of the reasons I did it, I love eating it, but also it's so beautiful. It's like the texture, the color, it's edible, just there's no reason not to grow a lot. And it grows fast too. So let me just grab a couple raspberries before I let you all go. These are the red raspberries. And I wanted to show you these because I just want to open your guys' uh, mind up to this idea of variety selection. And a raspberry is not a raspberry. A tomato is not just a tomato. A tomato you get from a store, all you can go, go there and do is usually is get a tomato. You can't get the thousands and thousands of varieties. Same thing comes with raspberries. If you want to eat gooseberries, if you want to eat currants or things you got to make sure you're growing them yourself so there's a huge benefit not only to be able to you know taste and eat the food but just the the selection it's what i like to call food freedom so we got to have food freedom if we want food freedom we got to grow the stuff ourselves that's today's video growers thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it summer is truly just around the corner we're a day away one reason i know is because we've got these bamboo stakes up for the tomatoes and soon we're gonna have a nice tomato alley coming right through here but me and tuck just love making these harvest videos so much because we do a lot of like how-to videos and we try to teach you how to garden and stuff so we love doing these harvest videos to show you that what we're teaching you that it actually works that you can get food from it so that's one of the reasons that we just love making these videos so much i also wanted to thank brenda j for your channel membership thank you for another month of being part of team grow it means a lot to me and tuck to know that we're creating value and that you guys appreciate it and that you're willing to give back a little for it that it means a lot to us and also before we let you go we wanted to mention that amazon prime day is on monday so when you're shopping on amazon make sure you use mine and tuck's affiliate link it won't cost you guys anything but we're just gonna enjoy the day me and tuck we're gonna harvest a few more things and snack on some of the food and just be thankful for all the things that we have so we hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button hit the subscribe button share with your friends and don't forget to check out the merch down low james and tuck will be back to you again real soon we out.